Hello everyone, my name is uh, Anna and we have been living uh, in BC for almost a year now. Hi, my name is Max <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are living in our van for almost a year right now here in BC and uh, yeah, this is our home. This is a Mercedes uh, Metris, this is our second van and the first one was uh, Nissan MV200 which is which was very small for us living full time so we decided to jump to something slightly bigger and uh, yeah this was uh, perfect for us our the size size wise was perfect and uh, yeah also was, price wise <laughs> also price wise was we have also a secondary vehicle a car because we work in two different places that help us that help that help us a lot we choose the rooftop tent to when we go out with the car to sleep in it and uh, an awning which is in this case it's really helpful because uh, it's uh, raining it's <laughs> it's uh, common for uh, BC. <laughs> BC and uh, we got also an awning to repair us for a tent which right now is helping us to <laughs> keep the van and the car <laughs> dry while we are. We came here from Quebec and we used our previous van as a, as a temporary solution, mm -hmm. right? Till we find an apartment, we find a place to stay and uh, we are still in a van. <laughs> so day by day got, uh, I mean, I enjoy living in the van, really. I suffer from anxiety a lot. And since we are living in the van, I sleep like a baby and it gives me gives me a sense a sense of freedom. Even if you are working, I mean we are still working our job. I like my job, I think I'm great, I love it, but it gives me a really a sense of freedom. We have been together for more than 20 years, so we experienced a lot and uh, when we were back in Europe we traveled a lot and uh, we have always been the couple that was sleeping in the car no matter what we were going somewhere concerts and anywhere vacation we were sleeping in the car so i think it was kind of natural the start from going to be the one who enjoys that much and during the vacation that why don't live it in there we just love it and it's giving you yes it's giving you freedom but it's also i don't know you you, you meet a lot of people uh, you have the possibility to see things that if you live in a condo maybe you will never experience and it's it's amazing i love it so this is our home this is how we we built uh, this van completely on the road it's not yet finished because uh we have to uh, combine the time and the uh, the parts it's hard to get parts right now so we are waiting for the rooftop uh, vent and a good time to do the job because when it's raining and uh, we can do that for sure we need to leave it and uh, uh, this is the hard part uh, living on the road uh, we have uh, uh, living in your van full time we don't have a place to uh, put the van uh, and do the jobs under you know uh, that is covered that we can leave the van for uh, days while we are working on we have always to do something and then come back when the time is fine so yeah this is a uh, 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 how we build out our van. We have a full queen bed. Uh, we went, we decide to give a lot of room to the bed because for me and for my wife is very important to have a good sleep. We cut the mattress, uh, the mattress at the end of it because this, uh, we turn this to a bench, which we can sit here. Here we're gonna sit some uh, one sit here and one sit in the other side we are uh, planning to get a lagoon table which we gonna we don't know yet where but it's gonna be here in the middle so we can uh, stand in front of one of other while we are eating something to get into van life at the beginning not much we bought the van brand new the previous one the Nissan to get in the second van, it cost us a bit of a fortune because right now the market is crazy. You can find, uh, uh, I could have bought something older and things, but then I'm 
that's my anxiety that keeps you know sometimes coming back uh, I always uh, scary that something can happen you get uh, and when you're working you have no okay Lisa we'll see tomorrow <laughs> you have to be sure that your van works fine so we choose the is not brand new it's used it was a uh, 30 30,000 kilometers when we bought it we paid almost like new but it's okay uh, I think it was around we couldn't five thousand dollars something we, like this just we, for the van we couldn't wait more because I wasn't able to sleep anymore in that the other van so I need to get uh, something very quick but uh, beside the van and I think it cost us five thousand dollar electric uh, and uh, wood and tools I have a lot of tools so we didn't spend nothing about that so yeah, we just the basic material woods and the electric uh, uh, or the electricals and the gasoline heater five thousand dollar yeah and the heater the inverter and the battery was the most expensive yeah. thing that we got the DC DC actually comes from the other the van, other van. We, we were able to take it with us because the sale was so quick we didn't have time to take out the things from the other van okay yeah like about 10 minutes it was one. <laughs> so okay. my electrical it's very basic we went to uh, this is my electrical okay. this is I didn't put the handle yet because we have a uh, hundred uh, amp hour lithium battery I left the room for another one, but in the mean, for now we got just uh, 100 amp power, which works fine for us because we don't have that much consumption. We have a 2000 watt uh, inverter, which is down there, and which we use basically just for the coffee machine, and we, the rest is always off. So uh, the battery is uh, there's a plenty of uh, uh, amperage for us, and uh, we have a DC to DC charger which I place it I place it here because these things eats up a lot so I originally place it there but having that one attached to the wood is not a good idea because uh, when it's working it's uh, warming up quite a bit so I decide to do this thing I still have to put a cover and finish it but it is unsafe uh, I mean <laughs> I sleep it I'm sleep uh, uh, comfortably knowing that it's not <laughs> eating up any kind of Wood. So this is for my DC appliances, which is basically light and well, light and charger for our phone, laptop. And we have uh, exactly also the diesel heater, so which is underneath here. For the heating, in the previous van we had uh, the Webasto, which works greatly. It's a, a very uh, good machine. But uh, for this time we went with a planner heater which is based here in Vancouver and we did that because uh, if we ever have a problem they, uh, we have also uh, someone who can take care of and uh, check right away and it's here and it, so far it works great really it's and a little bit too big for the van because it's a uh, four kilowatt so it's quite big it's the only and it's one warming there. up a lot <laughs> the van so it's nice and cozy I love it but also yeah they didn't have a smaller version so yeah but uh, we we, we took what they got because when we got the van it was still very cold so we need something to heat up the van because it's the, the most important part of the van is the heater honestly the feeling the, the, the things to be in the van the freedom the, the fact that you live with less you have less thing to think about really put, it calmed down my anxiety that I don't even I was another person before for us, we actually do not need to live in a van, but for uh, myself, how I am, I can speak also for my wife, it's, it was the natural step for us to be on the road, to be, uh, you know, challenge yourself because you know about yourself a lot. Also, of course, it cuts down on the cost. You can do <laughs> way more things, even if, uh, uh, yeah, you can do way more things than before. But you save the rent, basically. And, you save the and all the bills that are coming with the Or the rent. mortgage or <laughs> something. Benefit is to travel anytime we want. We don't have to care about, uh, you know, with this well, we have our home thing, so we can travel anytime we want, even after work. The fact that, uh, yeah, you save money, and that's, uh, I think, is the, the, what, 
what drives a lot of people, of course, uh, especially right now with the housing market that is, to me, is bonkers, it's insane to think about uh, uh, buying a house right now. For us, I think what is a bit different from many people that we come from Europe and we lived in Europe for 40 years. So for us, even working and it's already something that we never, we haven't talked about. It's or already on vacation. Would be, it's a vacation, it's <laughs> a, a vacation. custom vacation because we are, uh, we live here now for more than 10 years. So, but we are traveling, we are kind of traveling even if we are doing our daily routine. So everything that for us is new is wow. So here we have our uh, main controls. Uh, Right now, there's, there isn't much. We have the heater. This is the, the, the control for the heater. This is our battery monitor and uh, a plug just to plug phones and other. The back, I put another two plugs side by side for the, each side for the bed and uh, light, a reading light, even if we don't have too much time to read lately. <laughs> it's always nice to be ready. I still have to finish, as I said, the roof because uh, yeah we want to put the rooftop vent and then get all done we already placed the beam so we are going to put the paneling and then hopefully it will be finished and covering up all the wires i know the wires doesn't look very nice but uh, i i did that on purpose because i want to have all my wiring uh, easy to reach because uh, those are special wire that is done in the purpose that is not easily um, you can't break those very easily I still have to cover the parts that attach the bare metal but I want to have all my wires uh, accessible because on the previous build I had the wire behind the insulation and that was not a smart choice so <laughs> in this time I went totally the opposite and I will have all my wires ready to uh, to be serviced in case. Under the bed we have uh, storage, which is, is, it, is, we did it this way. So it's full of, uh, from here to the back of the van, we have uh, these boxes, which works very well. Uh, we can take it out from here or from the back, which right now is raining, so I can't tell, uh, I can't open up too much, but it works fine for us. Uh, as you can see, we left the floor of the van as it is uh, we went uh, we spent months on the previous build talking about insulation uh, how we want to do the floor and living in it the past winter we discovered that it wasn't that important at least for us once you get a good uh, heating system a dry heater inside the insulation the insulation it's important but not that important at least for us we don't stay in extreme temperature weather, so we were in Quebec uh, and the Nissan was used mostly for the weekend. Uh, we didn't live in the van at the time. So probably for someone who lives in, uh, I don't know, Manitoba or Alberta, the story is different, so they need a better insulation. But also when we moved up here, uh, winter is cold, but it's not that extreme. So for us, it was perfect the way it is. Uh, yeah, so this time, uh, once because we are living in it while we are building so we have to make choices that are very quick we can't uh, spend too much time and also uh, yeah I didn't want to uh, get crazy thinking about how we can do it we spent I think $500 in wood less than 50, 50 bucks on paint and that's it came out we still have to paint the <laughs> the main structure, but as soon as the weather will let us uh, do that, we will we'll do it. In the Nissan, we had uh, a different structure. We had a bench all around, and uh, at night we had actually to put the bed together, and uh, it was too much on our backs. It was hard to giving us pain uh, in the back, and it was not. Uh, at the end, I, I thought it was not worth it. So we decided to buy. The mattress and try to put it in the Nissan. <laughs> it was terrible because we couldn't move anymore. And then we said, no, we need something a little bit bigger because we are not kids anymore. <laughs> we need to make sure that we sleep properly and we are we are well rest for the day for work. So that, that was the main idea. 
I, I had my doubt for this one because I thought it was too small but it turned out that I guess it's the right size it's good enough but uh, it I mean really I feel very comfortable and now my back I, I wake up in the morning and I'm well <laughs> I, I'm really well rest so that worked out well yeah you put yourself out of your comfort zone because you need to deal with stuff that you haven't done before right the washrooms this is something that obviously if you have a bigger rig then you can have your bathroom in there and it's like more of a condo if you want to say it when you have a small minivan or you have a small cargo van it's uh, it's different you need to adapt a lot so and it's kind of fun you learn a lot about yourself with this thing and this actually feels home feels oh yeah i can seriously home. i can i can think about another housing situation for us right now i really i can think about something else on the previous van that was the biggest challenge it was very small for two people and the dog that was way too small that was the first the biggest challenge was the we, we didn't have room to put basically nothing plus we built our first van watching youtube videos uh, you know stuff like this and we did some huge mistakes like the water and stuff was totally it was not well isolated so everything froze broke a disaster that was the biggest i think challenge uh, we had for me sometimes it's just the water because you, know, you are stuck in when it's rainy you are stuck in the van or you you can go somewhere you can go to a mall or you can go for a walk even in the rain but you don't stay outside the entire day so it's a little bit difficult for me uh i'm not used to that much rain <laughs> so i just guess i need to have that a little bit more uh but i love bc it's it's gorgeous one of the most beautiful places I've seen in my life so I love it I can deal with the rain <laughs> but I, I yeah. think it's one of the biggest challenge for me for cooking right now until we get to the the table and everything we put the jet boil in on top here and uh, this is gonna be covered with another uh, sheet of uh, wood just to make it a, a kind of a table and we cook uh, basically here we keep our door open until we will get the vent but i'm not sh so sure about the vent why uh, when you are working a full day on the uh, living in a van you need a uh, a van you need something that can uh, that allows you to sleep anywhere at any time you you need to be i believe i firmly believe in stealth camping and for us it's important because having this working schedule you cannot uh, lose sleep at night so uh we you you need to be able to park everywhere and sleep and nobody is gonna bother you so i'm not yet sure about the vent because for us it works uh, with the door open and we are not cooking things that are too complicated so uh, we don't need that much of a ventilation inside for the sink right now we have a bowl <laughs> it's supposed to go here i'm still working on uh, uh how to get in here and get also the the, the tank we, we are planning do we keep the storage or are we gonna put a kind of a great fresh water tank and a great water tank just to, for the basic needs wash your hands and stuff like this we are still planning and i don't know yet for now we are using a, just a steel uh, bowl and uh, we use that and then we dump we the water a on the... In case so we can bring it outside uh, and wash the dishes out here for the bathroom, we never had issues so far because we work eight hours, nine hours a day. So we are always at work and usually it happens. I mean, we are at work and we have access to bathroom and other stuff. During the night, yeah, we when it happened that you have to go to pee, that's we use the solution that anyone use. We have pee bottle in the case, that case. But uh, other than that, it never happened that we have a, a strict urgency that to go to the bathroom at night and it's been a year so it's, uh, yeah, like there will be a portable toilet because we have plenty of storage that we don't use uh, completely we have uh, a locker so we can easily store uh, things that we don't need at the locker at 95 percent of the time we sleep at walmart those are open till 11 o'clock so that's 
It's, uh, and for showering, mm -hmm. we go to the gym. We have a gym membership, so we go there every night. So it's a good excuse to exercise a little bit. <laughs> we don't do that right. much. <laughs> and then we can take a shower at, uh, at the gym. I, I learned to let go a bit. That's, uh, for me, I think it's... Uh, the most important thing is I can live without all the stuff I had before. It's something that really... A lot of things I had, I really didn't need them. And uh, I said the only thing in my life that are really important are him and my dog. And that's it. Even if the van uh, is falling apart, I don't really care. At, at the end, this is our family, this is what we are, and this is what we should enjoy. Yes. I guess this is the most important thing in life. People that you can rely on. My personal philosophy is right now, at this stage of my life, do whatever, but be happy whatever it takes and for us it took to get rid of our apartment stuff it took all those things to get rid of to be on the road challenge you know with all the challenges that you have because we had quite a few of those and uh, but we are i mean right now i'm happy it's for uh, me yeah. it's always to be kind uh, to people and uh, help people as much as you can whenever you can because again you never know what they have been through and a smile can make a difference a little thing can really make a difference in someone's life and uh, this is bringing us closer to what is my idea of kindness maybe because we saw a lot of people that were in need and they were actually the first one that were giving help to someone and this is huge to me it's, it's important of helping and then you are more kind with the environment because you actually realize how much garbage you make when you live in the van <laughs> it's kind of oh, crazy yeah. so That's we crazy. try you know, to minimize everything and be nice with the environment so just pick up your stuff but this is my i mean living the best you can be happy it's true we have a youtube channel the channel is called miles in my booth i want to put this passion uh, there but I need to find something that is enjoyable to watch and something that it's a bit different um, we don't know yet what yeah, there's a lot be. of people that are talking about one life out there and they have way more experience than what we have and uh, they are huge channel and probably they have way more things to say about my life so he wants to get another direction uh, and it's more public traveling traveling with showing something what else. We see, showing the experience we are having. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please share it with a friend. Also if you want to watch more alternative dwellings we've got a playlist popping up right here and we release new episodes every single Sunday so consider subscribing.